Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Fabulous Friday. And this is actually Fun Fold Friday, but there's a piece I want to share with you first because I went shopping. So I'm going to put the time link down below. If you're not interested in the haul part, you can skip ahead right to the Fun Fold. But my glory, this is just a little bit of what I bought. That so that was the first thing. Then we went up to Fairport, New York, and into Bits and Pieces. And oh my glory, that's where I scored. I scored some big time. So the first thing I did, I got some acrylic paint. These were 50 cents in Craft Shacks, $1.79. I picked them up for 59 cents. This one doesn't even look like it's ever been opened. Um, let me find another. I, mean, I bought three of them. I don't know if I can find them all. And I bought this one in, what color is that? Teal green and soft apple. I don't have too much in the way of greens, so I figured I'd pick those up. And then I picked up, sorry for the bag rustling, a misty mauve. Kind of a tan. Um, that one feels like it's not quite as full, but it was 50 cents, like I said. You know, I I can I have not yet used up one of these, so what the heck. So I got three little jars of paint. Um, I also picked up for $1.25. This is a stamp and it has all the different cities on it. Washington, Mexico City, Madrid, Tokyo. Uh, it is by Seven Gypsies. It looks like, I don't know if it's ever been used. It doesn't look like it was ever opened. It, it was a dollar and a half or a dollar and a quarter. Um, but I'm working on a travel journal right now and I figured that would be a nice stamp to have for that. I picked up, looking ahead, some trim. This looks like it's going to be real pretty trim for Christmas. This was 50 cents for this entire row, row of trim. But you know that's going to go into a Christmas journal. Um, what else is in here? Okay, some charms. So I picked up a bag of these beads because... You know, I figured those would be nice to use. 95 cents for this entire full. And it's actually, I don't know if I can get it apart here. Um, they tend to close things up well with staples at this place, which is fine. It just takes a little bit of prying to get them open. There's actually a bag in a bag. So there are these and there are two different kinds here. Of these, what have I got here? I got, oh no, look at there's more than that. Okay. So there's those, there's two of those, one of these, one of these, and one of these. And I will be tearing those apart at some point and using them uh, as dangles. So I have all of those. And then I got this one, and I just, this one was 95 cents. I almost left it there, and then I thought, you know, I just really like it. I thought it was really pretty, so I spent the dollar and went ahead and bought it. Get it open here so we can see the full prettiness of it. Come on. It's, it's large. But isn't that a beautiful dangle? I'm sure it was probably meant as, it looks handmade. Because the soldering around the outside hat edge here looks like it was, that's a piece of metal. And yeah, that looks like it might have been handmade. But I just, I loved that. I thought that'll look really pretty off the side of a journal at some point. So I picked that up. And then I picked up a couple of other charms. And there's only three charms in here. There's a star. Almost looks like a Captain America shield. A little Captain America shield. I have a book and a suitcase. And again, I'm doing the travel journal. I'm pretty sure those will work nicely for that. Okay, I picked up some oh, and some more beads. These I just thought were really pretty. There, um, my, and my daughter said, you know, Mom, I like those too. And I said, Well, I'm happy to split them with you. So, because I will never use all of these. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to pull them all out because some of them are loose and some are separate. 
but oh my god, they're just, they're adorable. And I figured those would be nice, and they're pretty heavy. So those will be nice on uh, charms. In fact, you can see these kind of go together. Yeah, we'll be doing something with that. So some washi. These were a quarter a piece. And um, washi is always a crapshoot. You never know exactly whether it's going to be good washi or bad washi. But I figured, what the heck, for a quarter, I would give them a shot. They're both Christmas in uh, theme. So we'll put those aside for our Christmas washi. They have a special where they run uh, with their stamps, buy one, get one free. So I bought one at $8.95 and I got the, the uh, Papillon Purpuri, the butterflies, for free. So the butterflies are unmounted. They're just like this. Um, I figured I'll figure out how I want to mount them and do what I want to do with them later. Um, yeah, I think I just got probably put them on acrylic or something, but so I've got the, those, but then I really liked this set. And why was it $8.95? Why was it more expensive? Because, let me see if I can get this open. I don't know where my little scissors went. I only have my big scissors. Okay. Doing this off, slightly off camera, perhaps. Okay. This has with it. Ugh. Pull all that packing tape off of there. Sorry, not keeping the packing tape. We're going to just try not to stick our fingers together with that and get rid of that. So this has Botanical Builder Framelit Dies. And that's why I got it because I think it has... Okay. Oh. And somebody's obviously used it, so there are some dies even in there. Look at that. So there are flower dies. Come here. There we go. So here are the stamps, and then there are the dies to go with it. Let we'll me just stick that. I don't, don't know that these are going to be too sticky. But I thought that would be... An interesting set to play with and then the stamps look like that there there are acrylic stamps which are nice um, I like the acrylic stamps over the other ones but this when we open it up it says botanical builder framelits so yeah we'll play with that and with the die sets and whatnot for that we're just going to set that all up there. We'll put that all together again later. I missed a die over there. And let's put these up there with it as well. So that was one. Isn't that a cute little applique? 25 cents. On a 25 cent applique. I, you know that'll go on a cover somewhere at some point. That was cool. And then the piece de resistance, this was tested, it works. I have not yet tested it myself. It was $2.95, so that's a little bit more expensive. But wait till you see who it is. It's really hard to tell on here. I right, let's test it and let's see who shows up. Come on, release. You are tested, you work. You do work. Oh, there we go. It's Mickey Mouse. And then the other side. Let's see how it goes. That side worked very well. Is the Starburst. We are going to Disney in uh, another month. And so, yeah, that's going to be happy. That's, that's my happy place. So I got all of this from Craft Bits and Pieces. But wait, there's more. Because we also went to Goodwill. Now, I hope you're ready for this. I'm going to pause you, and I'm actually going to take my camera, and I'm going to show you separately what I did. And then we'll I'll go back to, to the top mount and we'll take a look at what's inside each one. But let me show you what this is. Are you ready? Because I have not one, not 
two, but three full bins of fabric and each bin was six dollars and thirty one cents so for nineteen dollars I have all of these fabric scraps I'm again going to pause you I'm going to put you overhead and we're going to open these up and see what all is here Okay, this is bin number one. This was actually the first bin that I saw. Um, it was just sitting there on the shelves. The shelves were pretty empty. It's a Thursday. I can't remember when they actually reload their shelves. Um, but, and I'm not going to take all of this tape off, except, let me throw that on there and see what we, maybe I can well, maybe we can get it all because I like having the bins because it's very nice that it's put together like this. Now it does have a little bit of that thrift store smell to it, but that's okay. That's what laundry is for. I'll probably wash all of this first. Ow, get my hand stuck in it. Um, throw that over there. All right, let's see what we've got. Now, I won't use all of this. Some of this is going to go back to bits and pieces. I did take uh, a couple of bags of things that I know that I will never use or things that I had lots of, and I did take that to bits and pieces and drop them off. One of the reasons we went today was so that we could have... Um, we, could, we could do that. So this is Commotion in the Ocean, Crabs Multi probably not something I will use. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this here, but this will probably be one that I get rid of. I don't know that I will keep that one. If there's something that you see that you would like, let me know in the comments and we'll see what I, we can do. We'll see if we can't you know, arrange to have things for the postage. Okay, this is Wilmington Prints. Fanciful. That's really pretty. I like both of these. Those would be nice. That that'll be a nice cover. And there's probably again more than I will use on a bunch of these. Okay, I have a star that came out of that stamper thing, so we're gonna move that there. So I have those. Um, this is some hearts and flowers. Where'd my heart go? Grab that heart. There we go. There's a cover. And this red could go very nicely with it. But there's a lot of everything. I, I'm not going to open all of these up and measure them, but I can tell you there's at least a yard of just about all of these, and I'm not sure I will ever use that much. This is a plain white muslin. Oh no, it's got a little bit of a decoration to it. There's little tiny white flowers on them. Don't know if that will show up on there. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a pretty nice, I like that one. That's a nice kind of generic yellow with hydrangeas, no lilacs. Oh yeah, you know that there's a lilac journal coming soon. They'll be doing another one of those. Oh, that's... This looks like my grandmother's curtains. Maybe I need to do a journal called my grandmother's curtains. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. These, this says Merry Christmas on it. So maybe I'll use that with it. And we'll do a Christmas. I'm going to set the Christmas aside because uh, Christmas will get its own special place to live. All right, this is a cityscape in bright, bright green. And I don't know that I will ever use the bright, bright green cityscape. It's kind of going to go along with the crabs. That's not really my style. And then to go along with it are some Parisian men. 
Um, again, not really my style. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I'm putting that with the crabs. That's going to go away. I like, oops. Okay, so somebody bought this from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to take the pin out of it and put the pin. I'll leave the pin in the paper so that I don't lose it and hurt myself with it. But there's two different patterns here, but I like both of them with that. So we're going to kind of leave all that together. Again, more of somebody really liked fluorescent green. And I really don't. So again, I yes, I want to car this color. It's called uh I want a, a anti-establishment green dune buggy. That's what I've always wanted to have. So I'm going to put that with the Parisian guys. I'm also going to put this one with the Parisian guys. So if anybody's interested in any of these lime greens, let me know, because I've got lots. Here is some more of this pretty gold. Is that the exact same as the other gold? Where'd it go? I lost it over here. Oh, it's over here. Yep, it's exactly the same. Napa. So we've got a lot of that, some more gray, or some gray. That might go nicely with the black and white. There's black. Oh, I think I had a skirt made of this at one point. Again, there's quite a bit of it. That looks like a Christmassy color to me, like a candy cane. I'm going to stick that with my Christmas stuff. If, again, if you see something that you like and you say, oh, if you're not going to use that, or even if you are going to use it, these are uh, quilting squares that somebody didn't use. And I, I kind of bet that's what most of this is, that it came from quilting, because it's all that kind of cotton material. I'll put that up there. I've got quite a lot of red. A lot of red. There's a lot of that. More black and white. Oh, this is nice. That'll be nice for a black and white journal. Okay, I'm going to stick. I'm doing a little bit of organizing while I'm going through these. And I'm putting all my blacks and whites together. Yeah. I like those. I like that. Here's some more purple. That's a pretty purple, too. That would be nice. No, nope, wrong, wrong purples. Those purples don't go together. We're going to put them together for the moment, but they don't go together. Ooh, cardinals. Black and white cardinals. I, like I said, I have no, I just saw from the edge, you could only see a little bit. Okay, here we go on a, little, a little bit more Parisian, but it's not that bright fluorescent green. Again, this looks almost like a, this would definitely make a nice journal cover. This and uh, with this on the inside. Oh, yeah. We're going to stick these together. Okay. All right. Right now I'm going to put my black and whites on this side. I'm going to put my reds on that side. And we're going to, at this point, I have, these are not going anywhere. I have crabs and I, that was a terrible thing to say. Oh my glory. I feel like I'm suddenly back in college um, with the girls talking in the bathroom. My glory. And then a lot of fluorescent green. Okay. You can stop giggling now. Bin number two. Let me set this one off the, to the side. Let me open bin number two. I hope you're having fun with this. I am. It's like, what the heck am I going to find? So many cool things. Uh, this, Like I said, they were $6.31 each. And heck, the... For the bins, and use the bins for a bunch of this. I'm taping my fingers together. You know, you I were I taught high school, and I will never forget the day a kid came to me who was not. He was just immature, and he came to me with his fingers all taped together, and he said, "I need to go to the nurse." I taped my fingers together. I'm like, you used up half my roll of tape. Well, I was working with another kid. I was so ticked at him. Oh, my glory. And this was ninth grade. This was not little kids. 
This was in ninth grade. Okay, so I have, is this the same? No, it is not the same. Okay. But it is called Women of Courage by Nancy Gear Style Number, da 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 Wyndham Fabrics. That's really pretty. I like that. And there's a lot of it. Okay, so we will put that, however, with this because we are looking at putting light colors together. Okay, what a, this one's right on top. Oh my glory, there's a lot of this. I wish I were a seamstress because I would make like a blouse out of this. I can't sew for beans worth anymore. So if there's somebody who looks at this and says, oh, I really could use that for this project or that project, let me know. And it looks like there's another type in here. There are two kinds wrapped together. So there are two different pieces in here. I'm going to put it with the purples for now. I'm going to put this one with the purples. Again, a lot of it. This one looks like it has been stained. There, There's definitely some discoloration on it. Um, but that's really pretty purple. And more purple. Let me pull out the other purple. It's a little bit more modern. I don't, again, don't know that I would, how much I would do with this one, but you know, it's purple. Brown. Oh, you know, I'm looking for an inside for my current travel journal. I'm going to leave that with this one at the moment with the beiges and the browns, but that's, that's a possibility. This is a blackish, blacky brown. That's kind of cool. It'll make a nice inside cover for a journal. Keep in mind, when I say a nice journal cover, I'm talking about like making one or two journals out of these, which means I don't need a whole lot of it. So if there's something that you see, please make sure you holler out. That's really pretty as well. That's a nice, that'll definitely make a nice journal cover. This is kind of a beigey, creamy, but it's got a little bit of green in it. So I'm going to put that up there. Here's a nice print. Oh, this will make a nice journal cover. Oh, yeah. With the lattice work. Garden Gate, it's called Garden Gate. That'll be pretty to use. Here's a real, just a, this is just a solid brown, beige. Well, not solid. It, it is, have a, has a coffee dyed look to it. Definitely journal. Okay, this is Kyoto Hollyhock. I like that. So basically, if you are interested in any of these, again, let me know. And I am uh, I might choose to keep a sec small section of it just for my own journaling. And then you can have the rest of it. Because there is, like I said, a whole lot. There's a nice black with a gray pattern on it. Put that with the blacks. This is more brown. I like that too. That might be nice for my travel journal. And then pink. I haven't had any pink yet. Okay, this is a couple page, a couple different pinks here. There's two different pinks here. Okay, let's try to fold this up a little bit better than it is. Okay, so I have two different pinks. I do like this one. That is really, it's shimmery. I don't know if you can see it. That would be nice on a journal, an Indian journal. And more of the, that's a, a different polka dot. It's a smaller polka dot, but it's a similar color to the other one. So yeah, that's, uh, that's going. I'm not keeping that one. Let's see what we got here now. All right. This reminds me of my mom. This would be a fabric that she would have loved with the flowers. And that's her color, Mrs. Orange. In fact, there's two different pieces of it, so there's quite a bit of this fabric. 
quite a lot of that. These are little cherries. Again, quilting squares that have never been used. We have more birds. Somebody liked birds. Those are cute. Definitely cute birds. Okay, we're back to the lime green again. I'm not keeping the lime green. Spring flight stacked leaves, lime, 100% cotton. Okay, putting that down with the other one. It's a, it's a different lime green, but it's still lime green, and I'm not going to be using lime green. I don't like the lime green color. Now, I might take a little bit of this, um, just because that would make a nice inside cover for something, but uh, I probably won't take very much of it, and most of that will be available. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this will make a nice cover. It says Loire. Yeah, that'll make a really nice journal cover. But again, there is way more of it than I will ever use because yes, it makes a nice journal cover, but I might make one or two journal covers out of that and then I'm still gonna have a whole lot left over. So I'm gonna stick that with the browns. In with the oranges. Okay, these are little pieces. Yes? No? Maybe. How big are these pieces? Can I do, even do anything with these? No, these are too small for me to do anything with. I could make a fabric flip or something of that sort with them, but I could not make a journal cover out of these. So, fabric scraps. These are little fabric scraps. That's, I think that might be from the, the crab one. All right, I'm going to put those over. Those can go away because I'm probably not going to use the little fabric scraps. These same thing here. These are little fabric scraps. They're pretty. I'm pretty sure that's just a scrap. I don't think that's big enough for me to do. Oh, that might be. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So if you're a quilter or if you just want the, you like the colors, let me know. Um, I will ship anywhere in the United States, anywhere out of the States, uh, the the uh, shipping becomes absolutely astronomical, so I don't know. This has shamrocks on it. Probably can't tell. It's white with shamrocks. That's cute. I like the... This is a very um, French look. What's the word I'm trying to think of? I want to almost want to say Wedgwood, but that's not right. Okay, this is a similar pattern to this one. This has got the shamrocks. This has holly leaves on it. This would be Christmas. Those are definitely holly leaves. So we're going to put that down with the Christmas. And this one is, it's basically white on white pattern. And, and again, I don't know if it's coming out in the 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 camera at all, but it's just leaves. It's pretty leaves. Okay, we'll put that up there. Purple, chamomile, thyme, sage. There's two pieces of it. I probably would keep the little one and be willing to give away the bigger one. This would make really pretty curtains. This would make really pretty curtains. Yep, where's my purples? I lost my purples. All right, I'm gonna just stick them down there. And then this would go nicely with that. That's another, there's beehives and garden and gardening stuff and that would go very nicely with that. So there's two more purples. Okay, we've got a bunch of these little pieces. Boy, I wish, because that would make a nice cover. Would that be enough? Ooh, that might be enough to make a cover with. Nope, because it's only this wide. It's only that wide, and that's not big enough. Make a tiny little cover, but it wouldn't make a big cover. So again, if you're a quilter, these are great quilting squares. 
And I will tell you, anything I don't end up keeping or using will go back to um, bits. And, will go to bits and pieces. I pick these up at Goodwill, but I will send them to bits and pieces, and they will find a nice home there, and somebody will pick them up there. But if you are interested in them, okay, these are like fabric swatches. Yeah, sorry guys, these are these are going nowhere but my own collection because I will make covers out of these. These are really nice. Yep, keeping that. Sorry, those are mine. The puzzle pieces, I'll probably get rid of. That's way too bright for me. I am not a big bright person. I like the, the softer colors. And speaking of bright... I thought that was the, the same as the, the uh, crab material before, but it looks like this goes with the crab material. We'll put that down there to go away. Okay, these are paw prints. They look like probably doggy prints. I would be happy to get rid of these because I'm I'm going to do a cat journal, but I'm, I am a cat person, not a dog person, and I doubt I will ever do a dog thing. Oh, those, those might be, they're little hearts. The little heart and their little paw prints with hearts. So I don't know. I'm I'm gonna put it in the go away pile. I am looking at doing an alphabet journal, so this will make a nice cover for my alphabet journal. It I've been collecting the things for it. I have not done anything with it yet. It's um oh probably number ten on my list, so it's got some time to go yet. Okay, we're back to that lime green and bright orange. Oh my glory, that hurts my eyes. I just don't, I'm not a big, that's not my color. Okay, this one, oh my glory, there is a lot of this. So this is, obviously, if you are want to do a beach, I think it's probably meant to be curtains. Because there is a lot of it. I'm going to bring this up here where I hopefully you can see it a little better. Because um, you have lighthouses and buoys and sailboats and fishing boats and then the beach houses. If I flip it over, it's pretty much the same thing. So it's that pattern that repeats. And there is a ton of this. This is not something I will use. And then, I swear my mother had a vest made out of this material, and there's two of them here. Although it's really soft. I like this material. I'm sure it's 100% cotton. What does it say here? It's, can't get it apart. There we go. Stonehill Collection, 2009. Donna Wilder for Fabric Traditions. So... Not a fabric my mom would have used, but, or my mom did use, but boy, it would be one she would pick. That is definitely her color. Definitely her, her pattern. So I'm going to hang on to that at the moment for this. All right, so that is my haul. And, oh my glory, there is so much fabric here. I probably shouldn't have bought all three bins because I have probably about a bin's worth to get rid of. Uh, but I, they didn't all come out of the same bin, thankfully. It's not like I bought a, an entire bin and said, oops. Um, I bought all three bins, and I'm going to take probably an entire bin back to um, bits and pieces in, oh, I know my schedule over the next couple of months. It won't be till the end of October before I get up there and get these back there. So if between now and October 2024... If you saw any of those pieces of fabric that you would like, or even any of these, you know, if you see something and you say, ooh, I definitely want that, just let me know and uh, we'll work something out. Like I said, I, I, I might ask you to pay for shipping, especially if it's just a little piece, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, if you just want one of these, you know, I can stick that in an envelope and send it off. That's not a big deal. Um, I don't think I even need to spend more than first class postage on that. But if it's something like if you want an entire piece of it, if you say, I want all of this, okay, 
just let me know and um, I will send it all to you, but that's know that th you're going to have to pay for the weight. I think that's fair. All right. Um, it's Fabulous Friday, but I obviously have a mess to clean up here. So let me clean all of this up and then we will get to folding something fun. Okay, so now we're to the fun fold part of the video. Now that we've done all of that, I have pulled out... This is the uh, Shabby Chic journal that I'm going to be working on. Yes, I still have my travel journal that I've been working on. I am... I'm, to be honest with you, I am working usually on three or four different journals at a time. I keep them in here, and like that's a cat journal I'm working on. This is an autumn journal I'm working on. Uh, there's there's a wine journal in there. So I keep collecting things. I have all I have stuff everywhere. So what I'm doing today for the fun fold is actually pretty easy, and I would like to say a thank you to Perita Damone. Uh, she has does not have a YouTube channel. She's on Facebook. I will try to link her Facebook page down below. I saw this from her and I thought, oh, I really like that idea. She used a different size paper, but I like this one. And if you notice, all I've done now, you take, this is an eight and a half by 11 with a, a print on one side. And it doesn't matter what the print is. You can use music paper, you can use a book page, you can anything that just has a blank on one side is fine. So I'm going to do it this way. And real quick, I am grabbing my... Not my I don't have a... Well, I do have a bone folder now, but this is just as easy to grab a credit card. Old credit card. I have so many old store cards and credit cards. So I'm just folding it in half. So you're gonna see that again? That's all it is, is I folded it in thirds, folded it in, in thirds, and folded it in half. Quick and easy, right? There's more. When this goes into the journal, and I've got this journal page, I'm going to you go ahead and use this journal page. Uh, do I want this one? Or, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to take one of the other ones from this particular journal. Let's grab this one. We'll fold that in half because this will be a signature page. Obviously, this is still very, very much in progress. And what I'm going to make it be is a belly band. So all I'm going to do now is put a little bit of glue at the top and a little bit of glue at the bottom. So this side is the only side that's really not ever going to be seen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it right down here and I'll decorate around the outside when I actually get to making this journal. And let's put, oh, do I want this piece? Let me put a little something on the front. Not much, just a little something that says it's here. Oh, there's a little bit of, I'm pulling some stuff out here. Maybe I like that, but not so much of it. And let's rough up this edge. I just bought some washi tape from the washi tape shop. And they always do it in this absolutely beautiful tissue paper. Let me just move some things around here so I can get to it. So I always have one project out on my table. And that's the, the one you have seen that I've been working on. And then um, I always have this bin of other pieces. And that's just plain. This is this particular paper and I this, I believe it comes from my porch print. I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. There, that sets it off. And now, so you have your journal, you open it up, you get to this page 
and now you have a beautiful writing spot. I will probably decorate the inside of it just a little bit as well. But there you go. Quick, easy journaling spot. I'm going to leave it there for today. This has been a long enough video. Take care. I hope you have stayed to the end. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button to let YouTube know that you liked it. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day. This is Cindy signing off.